Welcome back guys to 164 Revival. I'm Jeff. I want to put a quick video out, kind of a an R&D that I did with uh, this uh, custom uh, 53 Cadillac here. Uh, I've taken it apart, uh, worked on some polishing, uh, but that's not what uh, we were uh, going to R&D for. We were going to do the base. And then later on, I got some decals from Kenny Terry. Uh, he put a package together for me uh, that I that I ordered, and then he put in some extras, and we'll kind of go through those real quick uh, a little bit. But back to what I was uh, doing in my little R and D project here. The base on these uh, custom Cadillacs. Uh, like a lot of other Hot Wheels, they're plastic and they're chrome. That's not chrome. And the reason why was what I did, and this isn't a technique that, uh, I don't know where I picked this up at, uh, some other video quite a while ago, and it just kind of dawned on me uh, a couple days ago, to uh, give it a shot and that's take these bases and throw them in some bleach and real quick that chrome comes right off okay so then you can turn your uh, those you know unrealistic chrome bases chrome plastic bases uh, to black so that then you can go in and do some detail there on the pumpkin and the, the engine, oil pants, stuff like that. But what I was trying out was I grabbed uh, some art masking fluid. It's just uh, the masking kind of, uh, it, it hardens. A lot of you guys probably do use this. And, and if you don't, at least you know what it is. Um, it's just... Just kind of a uh, a rubbery glue, glue uh, a goo, excuse me, that uh, you can throw down and mask different parts. So what I did was, before I threw it in, I masked off the back bumper, the front bumper, and grill area. Masked it off with this. Just took a brush and just painted it on where I needed it to be painted on let it set up and harden then I threw it in the I threw it in the uh, tub of bleach and I let it sit probably oh I don't know it probably was an hour because I just threw it in and took off did a little something else somewhere else and when I came back, that was that was gone. The, the chrome in that area was gone. And it was, I mean, and it cleaned up real nice. So then I just took uh, some uh, tweezers and just kind of peeled off the masking. And it did leave the chrome. So if you've got, uh, got a chrome base and you don't want to worry about painting it and... You want to leave the, the actual chrome that was on in the areas that you want the chrome. Just get you some of that uh, masking fluid. You know, mask it off where you want it. Let it set. Make sure you let it set up. Just put it away. Uh, this stuff sets up. And this is from uh, U.S. Art Supply. I uh, got it on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much. And there's quite a pit in this bottle for what we do on 164 scale. But let it set up. Uh, probably threw it over alongside there and let it set for, I don't know, half hour or so. Uh, and it went from a cream and it, and it went almost you know, light brown, knowing that it, letting you know that it's cured up. Plopped it in the bleach hour later and probably even sooner uh, I wasn't watching I just threw it in uh, peel it off and there you go 
So that was my little R&D project uh, that I just kind of ran through my mind. Now, and I don't know, somebody else may have been doing this. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't caught the a video of it, but if, if it hasn't been done, well, then you've seen it here. Kind of a cool little technique. And I'm not sure. I, I, I don't mind this, this casting. Uh, I might, you know, because I, what I did, I might go ahead and put together. I did, you know, polish up, did a little, I guess, a little practice on doing the, the metal polish on this. So I'll probably put this back together doing something. And I have no idea why this little downhill racer's in the back of this. Um, somebody knows if there was some story behind it when the designer did that. Uh, might have had some kind of a personal uh, little thing that he had going on that uh, maybe his son got into those and whatever. I don't know. Uh, but I'll probably, I'll, I'll leave that one in. I did a, uh, a paint it pink challenge. Uh, I believe that was Diecast Outcast. I uh, think that's who did that uh, quite a while back and I did I did a pink Cadillac with that but I took I took the racer out of there and I put a wood wood floor there and the or a wood bed there came out pretty cool so I might do something with this a little bit later on probably probably an off-camera project um, I have been doing some off-camera projects because they just you know, sometimes you just got to have a little fun with these without having to worry about doing filming and editing and st things like that. So I got a uh, racing champions. Um, I believe this is a 50, 50 Chevy. And I haven't got it quite done yet, but I put a, put a wood bed in there and I haven't got the side mirror. I put that in the bed. I haven't got that attached there yet. And uh, chrome, chrome the visor, uh, the, the hood originally, it, it hinged, but the hinges were broke when I got it. So I cut out the section there on the hood so that the, the stacks could come off or come up and, uh, did a little bit of detailing there on the, on the engine. And those engines are, they're the 3D uh 3d printed from uh, uh blue meanie uh, customs tsi he does real good work it's even got a little belt on there 3d printed on that pretty sharp did it in like a kind of a plump crazy i did it in an enamel or not an enamel but an acrylic uh i don't like the enamels put some real riders on there some gold Put a custom grill on there that came from uh, one of the one of the Hot Wheels tuned cars. I believe it was like a wagon, like a surf wagon or something like that. So it had a big grill on it. So I replaced that grill and put a big old grill on the back. And it didn't have the didn't have the tailgate, so I made a styrene tailgate. Did a little detailing on it. I still got to put it together, so let's try not to lose my rear view mirror there. I won't be able to see where what's going on behind you. So that was kind of an off off camera project there that I did, and I've got uh, I've got another one that I'm doing, and that is the. I can't even remember. It's a it's a wagon. It's I think it was like one of the art series. It had a crazy paint job on it. Um, and it's like a it was supposed to be. I thought was a demo demo car, demolition car, or something like that. But it had the setup of it's a, a cruise bruiser. It's got the setup of a gasser. So I'm gonna make it into a gasser. So I took it all apart, and it had the chrome. You know, everything was, the base is chrome and the interior was chrome. So I did the old bleach technique on it. Came out just as well. 
took it apart, cleaned up the body, polished her up, threw some Hoosiers on the on the back side of there, some skinnies on the front, kind of did a little bit of a chroming detail on the bottom side. So I think that'll come out pretty good. Kind of turn it into a gasser and I've got a bunch of the 3D printed uh, engines. So that's pretty cool. At least I thought so. But in the mail, a little mail call here I got from uh, Kenny Terry. Some decals and just kind of going through them. Uh, they look really good. Got a Pontiac uh, GTO Judge set here um that i that i had ordered uh, there's two sets there and he had also thrown some in uh because when i went through i thought i didn't order this many but uh got uh if i can find me a truck to do a fall guy got a set of those uh i did order this is a red alert, the Chevelle, uh, which I'm going to do in an upcoming build. Uh, those look like they're going to work just perfect. So I can't wait to get, get on that project. Uh, got some rat rod, some rat fink, uh, says river rat on there. I'm going to do a gasser on that. Uh, I've picked up a bunch of number. You know some of the hot wheels and the spoilers they've they've got some numbers on there and sponsor decals there and they're they're really good i mean they're they're small but they still have some good detail on them the moon eyes and uh champion uh, let's see we got uh, looks like we got some hooker and even down there we got uh, a little, real little rat fink so those are those are cool. He's, he does he does real good work. Uh, you see see a lot of guys using them. There's a plum crazy for a gasser. Got that one. Uh, looks like you can do uh, do your your tiger theme. Sponsor decals on that. That I didn't order that. He threw that one in. Um, and I don't remember ordering this many of the General Lee. But apparently he threw them in there. And they look real nice. They got they got all the, the white because I he's he does them, you know, they're pretty much professionally done with the white uh white ink, the white printing. Um He's even got the, the the two flags that go on the back side. He's got the license plates. And then alongside here, he's got... The, uh, now, I did order this, too, was the Class Clown gasser. But I don't, I don't remember order, ordering that many. But he provided them. So, thank you very much. Um, let's see... I didn't order these. These were some poison uh, pinto. I've done a poison pinto, but I don't have another one. But looks like I'm gonna have to get uh, get me a couple more poison pintos to do. Uh, some more sponsor decal to do gassers and race cars and stuff like that. Uh, then I got uh, I did pick up. Um, muscle bound gasser uh, z street uh, and z28 decals that was uh that was my first car when i was uh 16 17 was a, a brown metallic that had kind of the uh, yellow and orange uh, z28 decal or or uh, logos on the on the side uh, and if I, I need to pick up a, a Z28 79 Z28 so I can uh, 
I can make my myself a 164 version of my very first car. Uh, and then we got the uh, uh, 69 uh, Chevelle decals here from um, Talladega Nights. That was... Uh, No, now I'm, I've 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 totally lost uh, lost his name. That was uh, that was his dad's uh, number thirteen sixty nine Chevelle. It had the it was a black and gold, uh, and then it had the, the the red stripe accents around the edges, around the eyebrows on the front, uh, and number thirteen. Uh, these I don't believe Kenny made these in 164. I think he just he had them in uh, uh, 125th or something like that. But he went ahead and made them in 164, and it came out pretty good. Um, here is an extra. I believe it says poison, poison ivy. Yeah, you can make probably a you know a gasser out of that poison ivy gasser. And then, lastly, looks like he threw in a bunch of candy cane. So I can have fun with those, see where I can slap those on and customize something. But they, they're, they're really good. They're really good quality. I, I, I haven't, haven't used them yet. I am on my way to using them. I got some projects lined up. So... Um, I kind of I'll, I'll give a shout out when I'm when I'm using them. Uh, tell you what I think of them. Uh, I don't I don't think I'm going to have a problem because a lot of guys out there use them and they they high praise to them. So thanks uh, Kenny for setting me up with that and giving me some extras. And uh, I think that'll be it for uh, this episode of 164. Just wanted to kick out the uh, the R and D uh, and. Let you guys see what uh, decals I got from Kenny Terry, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah.